All right. We have three voices here, or three are um, based on the VC01, VCB Rex VC01, and each of these three, each, uh, and all three together, build a C major or minor. We have a look minor chord, a C minor chord, and you we hear it also. Um, they are mo parallel, modulated by quantum. per octave input, so um, it's the, the chords change according to what I have um, adjusted here at the quantizer, and it is C, of course, and F and G. So the chords change from C minor to F minor to, C, to G minor and back again. Um, the frequency of the uh, LFO, which drives uh, the quantizer here, is quite low, it's 0.04 Hz. And uh, yeah, the voices are sent through uh, Stainer Parker filters and from there go to the mixer, I mean audio mixer and audio out. Um, there is uh, kind of mellow, no, not melody, but uh, let's say random pitches uh, which are uh, playing over the chords and um, the, um, the uh, random pitches are generated by this sample and hold unit here above and again sent through a quantizer to basal and from there through a reverb to um, the main audio output and the notes which are programmed here in the quantizer are C, E flat, G and A flat uh, and, and B flat sorry. Um, these notes are selected because they the mo most of them are parts of uh, each of the three uh, minor chords and um, so that from time most of them not all, uh, but uh, not all are parts of all three chords uh, the notes which are not part of the certain chord when this chord is playing um, they um, cause this uh, let's say harmonic or inharmonic tension from time to time um, the uh, random pitches are generated a lot more often than the chords change. Um, we had uh, 0.04 Hz frequency of the changing uh, of the LFO which causes the changing and uh, we have um, 4.8 Hz, so a lot faster, um, the, um, at the LFO which triggers the sample and hold. It doesn't mean that that often um, the new, new sounds are, uh, new pitches are generated. It depends on whether uh, it depends on what um, voltage is sampled from the noise unit at the moment of, of uh, triggering. So sometimes um, the uh, sounds, the pitch don't change, and sometimes it, do it doesn't change, and sometimes the pitch doesn't change because it's still near to the last note, uh, which is hit in the quantizer here. Okay, so three chords and random pitch random pitches, the notes are not completely uh, randomly chosen, as I explained, and there's a little bit of uh, percussion going on. <coughs> the percussion is, uh, the majority of the percussion is uh, triggered by this uh, sample and hold triggering LFO here, so it's quite, uh, quite uh, high frequency, but um, we go through a clock divider. And, um, the first, uh, let's say, smallest division is divided by 3, then we have divided by 8, and then we have divided by 4 times 8, because the 8 division, no, uh, no, not at 8, the 8th div division is uh, inserted into a set second uh, clock divider, and from there it goes the slot number 4, so we have third, we have for every third um, cycle of this LFO here, we have every, where is the next one, should be three, why don't I see three, there are four, ah oh, yes, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, so, um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I made this patch yesterday, 
Okay, so once again, um, the the snare drum is triggered every third cycle of this LFO, which triggers the sample and hold unit. Then we have at eight no um, sound related, no sound patched, no um, drum or any other kind of per um, percussion triggered, but. Uh, we trigger the second uh, clock divider and um, slot number four triggers the open hi-hat. So every four times eight, so every 30 second cycle of this LFO, the open hi-hat is heard and it is sent to reverb as well, and then to the, to the audio mixer. Um, <clears throat> at every third division we get the snare drum and um, always when the sample and hold uh, trigger uh, the sample and hold the module sends out something then these two bass drums are uh, kick, kick drums or bass drums are triggered one overheim kick remake and one lin drum kick remake parallel. So I think that's everything to say about it. Let's listen to it for a while and then go to the next video.